is back. The show is back. Double RT Boxing. That's where you're at. That's where you'll find me doing that ready, ready talk boxing. The IBF minimum weight champion. Hiroti Kayoguchi gets an eighth round TKO over Carlos Buya Trago. Pure domination from round one. Left hooks. Left hooks to the body. I said it on my other, I said it in uh, my previous uh, video. Japanese fighters, I believe they lose their citizenship if they do not have a left hook to the body. You could be the best boxer in the world, but if you ain't throwing a left hook to the body, you're not a Japanese fighter. And from straight from round one, Hiroto just put the left hook in his rib cage. And I, and I wonder, did Carlos have trouble making weight or just that many left hooks just eventually stood up? Because Carlos was nothing but back foot and jabbing. You know, just nothing but back foot jabbing the whole fight, keeping a distance and getting tagged with uh, left hooks to the body. A couple of jabs here and there. He's lucky. He wrote oh, right now at this young stage of his career is not accurate because he missed a ton of uppercuts, a ton of uppercuts. And the sad part is he landed a lot of uppercuts. Like, he was doing beautiful work. He would double up, triple up with the left. He would go, when, when he did just, mainly he did about 80% doubles. He had left hook and did that Tyson. Left hook to the body, boom, followed up with an uppercut. And then when he felt when he felt really juicy, he uh, jab, hook, uppercut. And surprisingly, he landed that triple more than he did the double. Like I said, in round one, it was nothing but... Hiroto came out straight out the gate with a, a body stab, jab, through a, a hard, vicious uppercut. The uppercut missed, but the jab was nice. His second punch was an uppercut, and it it missed bad, but the intentions were deadly. And like I said, he straight like after that, he just had Carlos going back on the back foot, and then around uh round four, you started to see a little swellingness on uh, Carlos's right eye because is it here? Left hook, uppercut, and he started just tagging his eye, tagging that, tagging that eye. And I said that was around at the end of round four, round five. You could really see the puffiness, and straight from round five, it's funny because before we get to round five, round three, he was digging in the body of Carlos, and Carlos kind of stuck his hands out like, uh, you know, he did, that, you know, stuck his hands out like. Oh, your, your body shots ain't doing nothing to me. He's like, what, what, what? And then round four, he, he got tagged again in the body, and he, he tapped it like, I, I got the bread basket. But in round five, you could clearly see the eye was getting puffy. Um, Carlos' punches were a lot of arm punches. Like I said, he was just walking back, you know, like basically throwing a jab to keep you over there, not to hurt you, not to hit you. Just stay, stay over there, stay over there. He he tagged her, 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 her um, Horatio, okay. Once in a while, but this was a one-sided uh, pressure beatdown. And and as I got starting from round the middle of round five. You could just see the referee was looking for a reason to stop this fight. It is that uh, Hiroto never could land. Like I said, he was missing a lot, but landing a lot as well. But the middle of round five, you could see the referee was the referee was starting to get close on the action the whole way. You know how referees be leaning in and looking. It is that Hiroto never landed like a good flurry of shots. At the end, I believe at the end of what round was it? I think six. Uh, the bell rung, but like he got popped with some good flurries, good flurries. Uh, Carlos did. 
and like it's like and, and you can see Carla Carla was in the corner like <sighs> like he, he looked drained like I, said, I wonder if he's making weight or just those body shots were vicious and those uppercuts were deadly and it got to the point where like in round seven you could you could start to see the right hand was landing more Hiroshi was throwing a lot more right hands around round seven around eight he was going for some heavy right hands he was mainly a left-handed off fight just you know but then he landed like a good in round eight he, the jabs were starting to knock Carlos's head back you know before all the way up until that point the jabs were just like okay touching him touching him you know and you know but that same kind of setup jab was it had a way different effect on it so he he got he was getting his head rocked back and then around around the two minute and three second mark a good right hand he stumbled back then boom a good left to a right his head bounced around he bounced into the corner boom 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 put a little flurry on him and finally the ref was okay that's what i needed to see but you already snapped his head back you hit him again with a good one two piece and he's stumbling he's, he's doing one of these things and then boom boom he got him more Ref, so that's it. Like I said, the ref was waiting three rounds to stop this fight. It's just he wrote it was wasn't accurate enough with his punches to get the fight stopped. This fight should have been stopped in like round five. It was a dominant in performance and still the IBF minimum weight champ. He wrote Kikuchi. Let's see where he goes in 2008. This is the Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A, saying a very, very good. If you, if you like uppercuts. If you like that old Tyson left hook to the body into an uppercut, watch this fight. He he does it smoothly and repeatedly, numerous times. He wrote over does. But I say he's a little. He's not as accurate as he. Um, I'm pretty sure his team would be, or he maybe he just he's throwing them without setup because he was throwing a lot of hard uppercuts and, and winging them. Lucky for Carlos, he was missing because Carlos would have been knocked out if any one of those uppercuts that he did miss. Because the uppercuts he did hit him with, they're like boom, short ones. But when he was throwing those, <laughs> you know, he was missing those. He's lucky. Carlos would have been real hurt if he landed one of those. But again, uh, thank you for tuning in. I am Mr. A. This is the Double RT Boxing Show. Thanks for the support. On to the next show.